Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. Today I'm going to show you how to make square mosaic sushi rolls. So these are what you need to make square sushi rolls. So I have some sushi rice. And if you don't know how to make sushi rice, I have a video. So I put the link in the description below. Nori seaweed, sushi mat, cucumber, the skinny one, British cucumber, bowl of water to keep your hands wet all the time while you're working on sushi, some rice seasoning called yukari to color the rice, and this one is made from Japanese red basil, and because it's basil, it has a flowery, fruity flavor that tastes almost like a hibiscus tea. But if this isn't available, you can use cooked and grated carrot to make orange rice, or scrambled egg to make uh, yellow rice, or minced beets to make purple rice, whatever available to color the rice. And I also have Japanese egg omelette cut into thin strips like this. So these are what you need to make square sushi roll. You need some colored rice to put some sushi rice in a small bowl like this and add something that colors the rice. And today I'm using this rice seasoning, yukari rice seasoning, but it can be anything that colors the rice. Use your imagination and prepare some colored rice. Then you need to cut this nori seaweed. So let's cut it into three first. into three, and let's cut this one in half. You don't need this one, so you can eat it as a snack. And British cucumber, you cut it into about the same size as this nori seaweed. So, cut the end off, then cut it into about the same size with this nori seaweed. And at first, you need to glue this long nori seaweed and short nori seaweed together. So let's put this one aside. With your fingers, take two to three grains of rice and put them at the top of the long nori seaweed. Like this, and then put the shorter one on top to extend the nori seaweed. It's a rice glue to stick the nori seaweed together. Press it down so they stick together. Now I'm putting this colored rice about one third at the bottom and this white sushi rice two third above with pinky size gap at the top at the bottom. Make sure to leave pinky size gap at the top at the bottom. Let's start with this colored rice. So wet your hands. Take some colored rice like this. Put it here and spread it. And make sure the layer of rice is very, very thin for this one. Keep wetting your hands and spread it all over. Like this, and then white rice. Take some rice, put it here, spread this about two thirds above. Make sure it's thin. And you put this cucumber that you cut into about the same size with an orange seaweed in the middle of the colored rice here. And then roll it up to the end. So you have cucumber in the middle, pink rice around, and then white rice around. Now we are cutting this into four pieces. So put it on the cutting board, prepare a knife, and also soaking wet cloth. This cloth is to clean your knife so your knife is always clean and slightly wet. Just like your hands, your knife should be clean and wet all the time. So don't forget to prepare soaking wet cloth. And you're cutting this one into half this way. This way. And here, it's very, very important that you have the cucumber. So you just look at the cucumber, forget about the rest, and try to have the cucumber. And a lot of people do great work where to start, but they fail where to land. So once you decide where to start, keep your eyes on where your knife is landing. Two 
to make sure two exactly same size cucumber and put them face up and cut them in half again. Don't forget to clean your knife so your knife is always clean and slightly wet. And again, halve the cucumber. Forget about the rest. Halve the cucumber. Clean the knife. Do the same for the other one. Halve the cucumber. So in the end, you have four pieces of this one. Uh, the size of the cucumber are all the same. Back to the sushi mat and prepare four lengths nori seaweed that you cut at the beginning and take two pieces of these and place it in the middle back to back. So cucumber is facing down and out. So when you see it from the side, it should be looking like this. Cucumber facing down and out. You have this valley, so fill the valley using piece of egg omelette. This is how it looks when you see it from the side. Put the other two pieces on top. This time, cucumber facing out and up. Like this. So when you see this from the side, looks like this. Cucumber is all inside out. Then, using this outer nori seaweed, you roll it up. As you try to form square, so this is how it looks like when you see it from the side. Prepare plastic film like this and put your sushi, square sushi, at the bottom of this uh, plastic film and you wrap it up tight this way and loose this way. Put it aside and let it sit for about 5 minutes to settle. After 5 minutes resting, you cut it into 3 slices. So put it on your cutting board, prepare a knife and soaking wet cloth to clean your knife. Clean the knife so your knife is nice and clean and slightly wet. And when you cut your sushi, you make sure to slice, you never chop, slice. Slice. And if the knife starts to squish your sushi, don't go any further. You just back off and clean your knife again and try again. And square sushi is ready. Prepare serving plate. Remove the film and serve it on the plate. And when you serve sushi, make sure you have the photogenic side facing up. This is the end of your sushi and this looks prettier. So you always put the photogenic side facing up. And your square sushi is good to go. This is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. When you have sushi party, and if you serve this square sushi to your friends, they will be impressed. I hope you enjoy making this square sushi and surprising your friends. More videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye for now and looking forward to seeing you in next video.